Hello YouTube, back again for a pickup video. I've been uh, binging around the uh, charity shops. Today I decided to go to Canvey Island and also Pitsy Market to see if they've got any like little stalls or whatever. And I did. But first of all, I've got um, I've got one PS1 game which I got from eBay. Um, it was a local seller. He lives in the same area as me, and it turns out he lives just two blocks behind me. So I went around there to pick that up to save two pound post and package, and it was 99p I won the auction for. And that was this populist the beginning. I've got this, but mine was um, a variation, um, classics or bestseller. It wasn't the original one, so I've got this one for 99p. I do I do prefer the um, originals. So yeah, I got that, and um, I asked the guy if he's got any more games that didn't sell or whatnot, and he had, he said he's got loads. So he invited me in, and I, I had a look what he's got. He's got tons. He's got loads of PS1, PS2, um, a couple loose SNES games. So I took his number. So I said, um, when I've got some uh, spare dough, I'll come around and buy some more games off you. So I'll be I've got a little connection going there. So but when I've done that, I thought, how how many more people? in my area I have video games that are just sitting there because he had loads that he said were in his loft so I thought who else around here has got um, games just sitting there gathering dust so I thought about it might have seemed a bit pikey but I thought about maybe w walking around my area knocking on people's doors and saying have you got any um, PS1 or PS2 games or old video games you don't want or willing to sell them for cheap because I, I, on a um, history channel I watch um, American Pickers and they go around well I don't know if it's real but they they make it believable they go around um, knocking on doors looking for junk and they, they buy it for cheap and they sell it on so I thought maybe I could do the same for a video game so yeah maybe I probably won't but it's just an idea but uh, yeah in the background got a uh, Hercules playing quality game this is really tough but it's, it's a good one but yeah I've got that playing Pickups. Um, I went to Pitsy Market first to see what I can pick up because sometimes they do market and sometimes mixture like boot sales. And I managed to pick up. They had a the PlayStation One and PlayStation Two console. Um, they wanted twenty quid for um, a PS Two console slim, which is this one here. It's all got the wires tangled up still. I haven't really bothered with it. It's got the controller, the wires, and it came with a memory card. And he wanted 20 quid for that, but I, I was a bit, I don't know. And I, I also saw a PlayStation 1 console box, which I picked up because I've got two of those now. You never know when they're going to die out on you, so I've got enough PlayStations to last a lifetime now. And I pick, I managed to get them both for the twenty quid. I said, throw the PS one in, PS one in, and I'll take the twenty quid for it. So you let me have that. So yeah, that's the two consoles I've got. And then I ventured off to Canvey Island. There's a couple charity shops around there, all clustered about. And um, I've got a couple Xbox games. I picked up Halo Combat Evolved, which is mint. These Xbox games are absolutely mint. That's a Halo one. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I've got that on um, PS2 as well. I'm, I'm going to look for the GameCube version as well. And I picked up 4x4, Evo 2. Micro Machines. And these were all a pound each. Odd World, Munchies Odyssey, and Batman Vengeance. I've got this on PS2. This is absolutely shit. So I thought it might be better on Xbox. It's really, really clunky, and you die, you die a lot. The jumps are really difficult to get. So I've got that. And uh, in the same charity shop, I picked up Finding Nemo, which I, I'm still yet to play this game. I, I've been looking on videos, and it looks pretty good. I've got it on PS2, but I, I've been wanting to play it, but I always get distracted with something else. But I will, I will get round to it. It looks pretty good on the GameCube as well. So yeah, PS2 games. I went round to a, 
another charity shop in Canvey Island and I've got the stack of PS2 games and they are FIFA Street 2 which was 150 um, World War 2 Tank Battles which was 199 they're all from varied charity shops around Canvey Island um, High Heat Major League Baseball 2003 this one's about 15 to 20 quid on eBay I had a look for this I don't know too many baseball games so I'll have a look uh, Rainbow Six 3 I picked up uh, Limited Edition Monsters Inc which is cardboard box and it is complete it's got all the um, Oh, I'll show you just to prove it. It's got the disc, it's got the manual, and there it's got those little photo cards. Which on eBay they usually they're usually missing. So yeah, it's um fully complete and it's a bit got a bit of a little bit of damage there, but that's to be expected for games like this, these little cardboard couple games because uh, people seem to mistreat them but yeah I've got a copy of it now um, I picked up Spongebob Squarepants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman and it's uh, still sealed if you can see the strip that was uh, 250 because it was sealed so I thought I'd have a punt at that I've got a couple sealed games now I picked up Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter 250, which is also sealed. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the little PS2 strips just there. And uh, lastly, in the post this morning, this came The King of Fighters. The saga continues, which uh, was uh, given to me by another YouTuber, uh, Time Team 1982, Michael Toploke. Thanks for that. I, I haven't got any King of Fighter games, and I was looking on uh, Retro Collect this morning, and it turns out there's about a dozen of these games. I don't know how rare they are, but yeah, this one looks pretty good. All right, thanks, thanks for that. After I've had a go on Hercules, I'm going to pop this in and have a go. So yeah, that's my pickups for today. Thanks for watching. Peace.